We had a good time. Honestly, the best time of my life was in Granada. We were really attached to each other, like our classmates. They were my brothers and sisters. There's so much love. Everybody is your aunt, your uncle, your families. Granada played a huge part in shaping who I was. The values that were taught here and um, the Islamic development that was put into us from when we were kids is huge. And like the friendships that you build are for a lifetime. You know people that you will continue to see inshallah throughout the rest of your life. I have four kids and one of the things I have noticed, uh, I've sent them over the course of the years to eight different schools. The Challengers and the Harkers and the Monta Vista and, and so on. And one of the things I learned uh, in this process was that each one of these schools molds the child in a certain way. The question to ask is, is that, you know, how do you want to mold your kids? What I came to realize is that that environment is the most critical aspect of uh, this molding. I want my kids to have my values, my religion, and that is what is much more important to me rather than just an education itself. Education is absolutely important, but on top of that education is the value system, and that to me is the most important, and that's why uh, I prefer Granada. I think it's exciting working in an Islamic environment. Um, I didn't go to Islamic school. I, my whole schooling was in public school, and I always had a stereotype of what um, private school was. And coming to Granada, I found that um, a lot of those stereotypes were broken. Kids aren't in a bubble. We try to get them you know, to do a lot of things in the community. Uh, they, we bring in a lot of students from other schools. They have a lot of interfaith activities. We make them just strong American Muslims. So. I feel like it's exciting, you know, you know, they're not only doing well academically, um, they're doing well Islamically, and they're going to become strong um, community members, inshallah. Faith and character education is one of the main objectives for me to raise my children. It's very important that my child and uh, hopefully the future leader of, uh, of this community be learning an institution that's, uh, that can help him uh, be saved, help him grow and nurture an environment that focuses more on his well-being before it comes into academics. My children love this school. They love their teachers. They love uh, um, the love they re receive from their teachers. Um, this is something really important to me, the connection they have with their teachers as well. Granada is the most welcoming place I've ever been to. I mean, when I was a new kid, I thought no one would like me, no one would hang out with me. But after one day, I had so many friends and it was, they all welcomed me like I've been here forever. Granada is a very positive place. I mean, the teachers encourage you in anything you do, whether it's Arabic or English, science or math. And if you want to be anything, they'll encourage you to do this, try this. Whatever you want, you can reach for it. You have to work hard. It's a smaller environment than most public schools. So that means you know a lot of the people in school as opposed to a public school. And that means everyone around you is very friendly and very kind to you. I also like the teachers. They actually care how well you learn. They want to try to make sure that you understand the concepts and they try to always help you whenever you need the help. We have three extra subjects as opposed to a public school. We have Arabic, Islamic studies, and Quran. These subjects help us understand our identity as a Muslim and help us become better Muslims for the future. Hearing the Quran in the morning, reciting, getting the knowledge about our religion, really this is the basic thing for me and my family. Uh, coming home and, and hearing them telling me stories, things that I did not know, even du'as that I did not know, and now I'm learning with them. This is something amazing. Throughout the day, children are exposed to both academics and Islamic values, uh, and they don't learn each one in isolation. So for me, the most valuable aspect is that uh, Islamic studies, the Quran, the Arabic is integrated into the regular curriculum. I think it's very well balanced. So especially living here in America, but it's very clear. I mean, you're Muslim, you have your identity, and you still can have fun. You still learn how to do what everybody else does and more. The middle school is what it is. It's the middle road, and it's the core. It's what helps develop these children. It develops a foundation. It helps build a foundation. And that is where if you give them the tools and the skill sets that will enable them to succeed, they can succeed then in ninth, 10th, uh, and, and their senior year. And then not just that, but college and life. 
It's the younger years, the foundational years, which we can really, really embed a sense of identity, a sense of purpose, and sense of enrichment that they'll carry on for the rest of their lives. I was very fortunate that Granada really set me up for success. And so I was able to leave here very prepared. And I didn't know how prepared I was until I went and saw others. For example, my kids went from Granada to Monte Vista High School in uh, the Cupertino School District, which is considered one of the best schools in the country. And uh, they did not miss a beat. Uh, so you could see kind of the tangible benefits of them essentially merging into the education system of the country without any problem uh, whatsoever. But the community school and um, you know, it's not just for the, the students who go here, or, you know, or the parents who have kids here. It's, you know, it's a, it's a valuable piece of our community, and we should all feel like um, we should support it in one way or another. It is a place where uh, hopefully we'll get future leaders, Muslim leaders for our community. So uh, by, by their contribution, they're helping build future leaders for the community. What I want for it now is the same, keep striving because I'd like to enroll my children here, I'd like my grandchildren to go here, my friends, my neighbors, whoever it is, you know, I, I'm, I'm very proud of the school and very happy to say, yes, I went to, you know, Granada. For many of my friends, it obviously stands out to them and like they see how amazing it is and what a, such a great environment that is. And if I were to pick another way, well, you know, it may be inshallah if I grow up, yeah, I'd probably send my kids here too. Yeah.